business you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Audio bandwidth for the weekly Daily Gizwiz is provided by the new Winamp for Android, featuring wireless sync and one-click iTunes import. Now with free daily music downloads and full-length CD listening parties. Download it for free at winamp.com slash android. Video bandwidth for the weekly Daily Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. It's time for the Weekly Daily Gizwiz with Matt's maddest writer, Dick Bartolo. This is episode 1,352, recorded Saturday, February 11th, 2012. The Weekly Daily Gizwiz used to be brought to you by Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on your PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, or TV instantly. All streamed directly to you, saving you time, money, and hassle. For your free 30-day trial, go to netflix.com slash twit. And now, get ready for Dick. Ladies and gentlemen, please do not attempt to adjust your sets. This show is not going to get any better. I am... How could I have forgotten the very incredible high-quality sign that we made for the Gizwiz? <laughs> Hello, Diggy yeah, D! It's... Leo, how are you? I just need a little scotch tape. Hold on a second. Oh, I thought you needed a little scotch. A uh, scotch, Which too. Which hurt. No, it wouldn't yeah. hurt. There we go. <clears throat> oh, there it is. Oh, there wow. Yeah. Much you know, better. When you, when you spent that kind of spend that kind of money, it should be. That's what are you talking about? That's how they do it on Live with Kelly. Right there, they tape it right on there, just like that. Yeah, and, yeah. Now people thought, think it's electronic. No, it looks electronic, yeah. but that's the beauty of it. It's, it's stage hands underneath, <laughs> right? Holding, holding it that those, way. pushing those little things up. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, actually, we. I have. told you back back in the Barry Enright days when they were trying out a game show. They thought if, if it doesn't sell, we don't want to spend a lot of money. Dick, can you stay under the MC's podium and push questions up through a hole while we play sound effects? <laughs> what was the sound effect? Boing. Yeah, no, they would do like... Bloop, 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 bing. <laughs> and they would sit there and go... Bang. If you get it wrong, though, it looks really bad. Yeah. yeah it would yeah. look good on my resume. Time, yes, card pusher. Oh, hey, yes. so I I understand that you for the first time since Halloween you got a little snow in uh, Manhattan. We did, but little. It, it came down fierce. Yeah, just, it was forty one degrees. Wow. It basically just kind of made how, the street a little bit damp. Yeah, how can it snow at forty one degrees? I don't understand. Well, it has to come down really fast. <laughs> before it melts. <laughs> before it melts. <laughs> it has to fly to the ground. Uh, wow. Well, that's okay because Toy Fair opens tomorrow, and so it's good that they didn't get a big snowstorm. Right. Right. Well, uh, we've got some gadgets for you. We've gathered t together. and yes, uh, we have. Yeah. I, my gadgets came all in one big backpack uh, from uh, drbot.com. Dr. Bot is a... Uh, um, uh, normally you think of them as a Macintosh retailer that were at Macworld Expo, and they sent me a backpack and saying, we noticed you didn't come by the booth, so we thought we'd sell, send you everything we were showing. <laughs> so, oh, lucky you. Well, wait till you see, and then you can decide. Oh, okay, maybe <laughs> semi-lucky you. Yeah. But uh, let's start with your first gadget of the day, Dick. Okay, the first gadget of the day, it was a little more than two years ago than I talked about the iMoshi clock. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, the iMoshi, the clock that you talk to and, and you could set it and do things. Right. So I... I... <laughs> it's talking <laughs> to you. So... It's... But Leo, this is what is so funny. So I get the... <laughs> it's I don't understand you, it's saying. No. What is so funny about this is that it hasn't said a word for the past two days. This is sitting on my desk. And now it's saying, I'm on. I'm on. And it's saying, yes. I, the, the funny thing is the new clock looks like iMoshi, but it's called the Ivy clock, I-V-E-E. -E. 
So I was talking to the PR people and I said, now, is, is this a rebranding of, of the iMoshi? And she said, she said she doesn't know the complete story, but she thinks the person who sold them the technology, they stopped using it. And so uh, either he started his own company. I, it's a different company. Or, it's a different website. They don't. It's, it's a totally different yeah, company. But yeah. I, I thought I could fool the clock. And I think I fooled it inadvertently because I, I'll pick it up. And I, I, I figured if this is the same clock with a different name. It'll respond to iMoshi, but it wouldn't. But we'll, we'll see now, okay? I'll, I'll show you. It looks exactly it does. the same that as, looks the, as same. the iMoshi. Yeah. So first I'll try, hello, Moshi. Hello, Moshi. Now we'll Nothing. do the real name. Yeah. Hello, Ivy. How can I help you? Well, see, it's... Time. The current time is 5.18 p.m. That's Hi, good. Moshi. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi, Ivy. Command, please. <laughs> Set sleep. I you. Well, give me a little time there. Sleep sounds. Please tell me the name of the sleep sound you would like me to play. To hear your option, say help. Help. I couldn't hear you. What <laughs> would you like me to play? Help. Help. I need someone help. Please tell me the name of the sleep sound you would like me to play. This is why this happens every time with this stuff. You want to throw it across the room. Help. All right, Moshi. I'm 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 done with you. I'm done with you, Ivy. <laughs> I, anyway. see, she says okay. you keep calling me Moshi. I'm not gonna give you anything. <laughs> Maybe she she just might she's, be angry enough to pissed. be spiteful. Yeah. You know? Some clocks are that way. Yeah. Um uh, anyway. It's a little more advanced, and iMoshi it now can respond to 43 commands. Wow. And something I don't know if iMoshi did that I sort of like is um, you can make it so that when you talk to the clock, you'll just hear a chime that the clock understands and to just say the command so you don't have to deal with the uh, voice. Um, it's uh, th There's too many problems with it. It, the sounds are not very loud. You can tell it to fall asleep to one of three sounds. and But the nighttime sounds are very low, even in the high position. Mm. And the volume control is, me, is merely low, medium, high. Again, it's probably going to be on your nightstand right next to you, so that uh, the may, uh, may not matter. And the one feature it has that we both love is the uh, nightlight can be dimmed all the way down to off. So you don't have a bright light shining in your I face. I do like, I hate all those lights in my room. Yes, it's exactly. Terrible. And and Ivy is available now and it's, uh, list price is fifty nine ninety five, dollars But um, I think I saw it on the internet for 10 bucks less. I think this is, you know, we're just going to see so many of these things. Now that Siri on the iPhone, uh, especially because Siri understands what they call natural language. You don't have to say with Ivy, you have to say it exactly so. With Siri, Ex that you is, know, that is correct. And and so I think as we get closer and closer to this idea that it's understanding you, I think uh, it makes sense to talk to your gadgets. You look like a no, crazy man, but it makes sense. Well, so what else is <laughs> what, new? exactly? Right. Yeah. Um, All right. Well, okay, Ivy, so fifty bucks. Uh, bucks. Hello, Ivy dot com. Hello, I V double -E dot com. And uh, you think it's the same as the Moshi? Yes, it has more commands. Uh, it's more involved than the Moshi was. It does a lot more. My suspicion so is, I, I, is that neither Ivy nor Moshi is owned by those companies, that they're buying somebody else's product and branding them. I would guess. That could, yeah, that could be. Yeah. That could easily but I don't be. Know. That's just a guess. We just guess here. We, we don't. don't know. We just guess. You know, on the website, though, they've got a, the company vision. Oh, what is the company says, vision? Interactive Not voice. To be on the yeah, yeah. Whatever you do, don't get on the weekly daily gizmos. It says interactive voice, or IV, get it, was founded by Jonathan Nostrant January 27, 2011, as a consumer focused voice control electronics company. So it does, I guess it's their thing. Oh, okay. Well, then maybe he was the one who did iMoshi yeah, maybe. and decided. 
Maybe he left. To start his own company. Uh, okay. You know, they're using nuanced speech recognition, which is what everybody uses. Oh. These days. Yeah. Huh. M O. Let me look at Moshi and see if they have a vision. <laughs> <laughs> I Moshi. <laughs> I Moshi? Yeah. What? You know, I Moshi IV? Uh, I know. It's very similar. Yeah. But it, it, uh, it, as you heard, she doesn't like to be called I Moshi. Well, that's an easy thing to fix. Both of these recognized by the World Blind Union. So, oh, okay. And, and oh, that, oh, that's yeah. That's, that is the more serious use for this. Is uh, people absolutely with low vision absolutely. or no vision? This would be a very useful uh, device. device. Yeah, it doesn't say who invented this on the Moshi site. It does say that Ellen DeGeneres put it best. Alarm clocks are complicated. It says that. But it doesn't say who invented that. Is it? <laughs> it just says, oh, okay. <clears throat> Not that they use this. <laughs> yeah, really. That's, <clears throat> that's good. If we ever go in the alarm clock business, we can also use that quote. It, it says, the first alarm clock was invented in the 16th century, and people have been despising it ever since. It says that also. Moshi was founded oh, okay. in Woodland Hills, California in 2003. So, yeah, I bet you it was that guy. And yeah. eight years later, he goes, screw you. And he goes to this other company. Be my guest. I think the first alarm clock was a mallet at the end. <laughs> you said wake you up at six. Bonk. <laughs> well, uh, wake up. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's the 15th century and I'm your alarm clock. All right. Gadget number two involves, is the, it's like in Jeopardy when they have a, a, a video daily Je yeah, well, you know, Jeopardy. we normally have the video of the week, but we are having video of the week because it's live video. Ooh. Because like you, there is now, and, and it'll now be going forward, there is now the Disneyland drop cam. I see you. Is that Dennis behind you there over on that the right? Dennis. Now, Dennis is, Dennis is waving. Dennis is always very shy, but I said... I said, Dennis, the first time we show the camera, someone has to be sitting <laughs> in has to be my there. He's pretending to type. <laughs> He's pretending to type. So now this is good. This is, we, this is an angle we never see. Now, I have to say, it looks like there's gauze on the screen. Did you put Vaseline on the screen? Uh, I did not. I did not. Now It's, it's very dreamlike. Yes. <laughs> I was now was not giving... She's talking now. You can't shut her up. This is exactly how it works. Well, you, I am. I'm disconnecting Ivy. Oh, you know. By the by the way, this is the first time I've ever seen this. The AC adapter terminates in a little USB dongle. Hmm. So I'm not quite sure what for it's what. Oh, you know what? Or the camera. Wait a minute. Maybe this is a way that they can upgrade the software. What is that for? Ivy or the camera? For Ivy. Okay, we're back on Ivy, folks. The I, I understand your confusion. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> we're back uh, to Ivy. The okay, fun, now, we'll, I'm we'll watching the drop to... cam here, and the drop cam, right. I, now, is it a plastic lens? Maybe that's, somebody in the chat room said, maybe it's a plastic lens, and that's why it's kind you of. You know, it just may be a plastic lens. Now, we, they, we got a unit, and I think you got a unit, too, that was. Up the, the first, the first uh, thing was way, way out of focus. But it just dawned on me. Can you just double check that there's not a plastic piece of uh, protective <laughs> protective lens plastic? Over that? That's maybe what's going on. Is there a little? Oh dear, we're gonna oh. see Dennis fall over. Oh God, <laughs> careful! Oh, oh my God! God. God. Oh, my. The humanity! This building is not on solid ground. Now he's tilting it so that he, we can't see him. So I think there's a. So there's no. no the, it down just it actually looks a little bit better. Maybe he fixed something. Okay, it does look better. Was That's there good. plastic wrap on it? No. <laughs> no. Eric Duckman <laughs> says we just experienced the poop side down adventure. Oh, that's very funny. <laughs> <clears throat> that was the name of the satire for Mad. Right. Someone, Poseidon yeah. Adventure. Um, uh, you know, it looks a little bit better uh, than it did before. It's still a little soft on the edges. It, uh, right. But the thing is. I also sent you a link to what it looks like out the window we with have, natural daylight. We have video. Uh, um, so, okay, you want me to show the natural daylight video first? Yeah, so just so you can get an idea if you want to use it as a security camera and you want to see who's coming in and out your door. Um, so this is, this is out the front window of Disneyland. 
Okay. Looks pretty good. And then, Still a little soft in, in the edges. Yeah. Well, there's a guy walking by. Well, it's pretty smooth. Right. So with a lot yeah. of light, it, it does it does look pretty good. Yeah. And then uh, something that the original drop cam didn't have is night vision. Um, 16 or 12 infrared lights. So the, the next little clip is just... So this is it at about 1.30 in the morning. But I don't think the infrared goes that far. So, like the building across the street, I don't, that's not the infrared. You know, thing. the building across the street is definitely those uh, construction lights. lights. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's lighting the bars and the the uh, dying ivy. <laughs> out the purple ivy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it's the middle of winter. What do you want? Vic G says you can oh. almost hear the gunshots. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Not on West 82nd Street. No, he lives in a ritzy neighborhood. There's a no... Very, I, yeah. I live two and a half blocks from Zabaw's. Uh -huh. One half block from Leo Laporte's playground. Birth, birthplace. Birthplace, yes. yes. There are no gunshots here. I like this uh, this kind of uh, eagle's eye view, bird's eye view cam from the... From yeah, the well, this company. is good because when I have guests uh, in the studio... Um, they can wave at the camera and, uh... Well, it's also good because anybody who's contemplating being a guest in the studio can now see what tight quarters they would it's be suffering. not tight. Dennis, Dennis, stand up. Walk around. <laughs> yeah. Walk around. Okay. Now go back there and show. Now go back to the drop cam, please. Okay. Dennis go. is now walking around. Look, he's got room, a full plenty five of room, feet. Plenty of room. You could maneuver Dance. a right. ship in there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. He can, spread, he can now, stretch his arms minute. out is almost this, fully. Wait, wait, wait. Is this not more room than the cottage? Um, no, that is not more room than the cottage. The cottage wasn't that crowded. Oh. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Did you have all 12 mods in the cottage at one time? You got all 12 mods in there? Yes. No, all right. You got more room. Okay. Hey, thank you very much. <laughs> How did you get all twelve mods in that room? <laughs> Where's with, Fairway? With the, Where's well, folding fa chairs? Oh, folding oh, chairs. Hey. Fairway. It's Fairway yeah, in there. Kind of this is kind of fun. This is an angle we never see. Um, including you. I see no, that it, you have the Maltese Falcon. So we were wondering where that went. Oh yes, I. Yeah, oh, oh, I forgot to hide <laughs> Actually, that. Actually, that's the Maltese Parrot, I believe. It's the Maltese Parrot. Yeah, yeah. It was a very, very. Uh, Bad follow up to the Maltese Falcon. <laughs> and then the Maltese Canary did even Where's worse. Where's the black it, canary? You got it, don't you? <laughs> Milking those franchises. <laughs> well, okay, so the drop cam. Uh, now, the thing about the drop cam, uh, we've used it for a long time in our studio. Uh, they used to use uh, uh, their own rebranded version of the Axis webcam. Uh, all you supplied was power. It would use. It had its own Wi-Fi, its own web server. So you just plug it in, and it would be broadcasting um, oh, through your Wi-Fi uh, out to the world. And uh, this one is the HD. So it's a little. Is it the same price, or is it a little more expensive? They've started making them themselves now. Actually, it's cheaper. It's cheaper. It, it, they've added several uh, options, and it has dropped. They have the, the twelve LED uh, infrared light for night vision. How's the they sound? They now have. I'm sorry? Is there sound on it? Yes. This one is two-way sound. They have it on now because there's terrible feedback, of oh, course. Of course because yeah. Of, yeah. But you can talk through it. So when I'm Tuesday, I'm going to the Miami Boat Show to look for boat gadgets. So I'm going to set it up in my back apartment and hope, hopefully be able to talk to Fairway or wow. uh, my Android phone. So it has two-way audio. Um, it's now the new one is Wi-Fi only. Okay. And it's kind of interesting what they did with the cable is the, you take the Wi-Fi cable, it's a big long cable, plug it in your computer. Uh, it goes directly to the drop cam website. Same thing as the uh, more expensive one, no software to install. You name it, you open an account. If you already have an account, you just put it on the same account. Uh, then you take that USB cable out of your computer and stick it into the AC adapter that they send you. And so the same cable ah. now, how is the drop cam? Got it. Okay. Um, it's now $149. For, and, and is that for, for everything? Now, you do... 
Uh, I know if you want them to... One of the neat things about Dropcam is they'll store the video on their website for you, but you pay yes, a monthly still, fee for that. Is it, yes, that still is, a, is a, I think it's $9.98 option. And you get like a week's worth of video, something like that. Yes, exactly. Seven days of video. So what they're doing now, actually, the, the drop cams aren't shipping till the end of March. So if you pre-order it, I think only to March, uh, April, uh, February 15th, they might extend it. It's free shipping, and they also give you two weeks of their full service. So you can try it out and see uh, if you want to go right. on to the paid plan or not. If not, you're just in for $149. Watch it on any computer uh, Apple device, Android device. Are they uh, uh, are they going to discontinue the original? You know, I don't know. I like the original because down on the boat, I just used it hardwired and I shut the wireless off. Um, yeah, because I, I am why. not. I know this is hard, high definite. I, I, the fuzziness bugs me. It, it's a. It, I think it is. It looks like there's Vaseline on the lens or something. It, it's. I think it is clearer. With the direct uh, Wi-Fi wire, uh, you mean the uh, Ethernet wire? Yes, yeah, with the Wi-Fi. Uh, yeah, directly hooked up to the router. Okay, so maybe this is a Wi-Fi issue. It it I, it could be, and also you know the Wi-Fi in my apartment is that's I'm using the Time Warner for. Uh, yeah, it looks all right. That where, camera. Can, where, I'd like to compare it. Let me find the uh, your uh, boat cam because that's the old one. Right? Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, that's a great. Yeah. What's uh, let me? Is there a short URL for the boat cam or? Oh, chat, uh, room, the chat room. Give it to me. Do you, do you have the boat there cam? It is like, right there it is. Web nineteen eighty four okay. has it for Thank you. Thank you, Web nineteen eighty four. If that's your real name. Uh, yeah. Let's uh, let's go to so we can now we can compare the two. This is full screen on uh, Dick's boat cam, and you can see right. more jaggies. Now it's it's uh, darker. You just certainly see more uh, artifacting, uh, JPEG artifacting. But I don't get the. It seems like it's not the lack of clarity isn't there. I guess it's a matter of taste. It's also four by three compared to sixteen nine. Um, yeah, th this one is has a much wider lens, way wider lens yeah, on it. Yeah. So let's go back. Uh, we'll go back to the. Uh, Disneyland Studios and show you uh, that one. I, you know, I think there's pluses and minuses on each. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. If you just want to monitor something and see, I mean, you know, my, my room is only 18 feet long by about 12 feet wide, so you're you see a lot more. Entire, yeah, yeah, you do. And for a, for a yeah. security cam, that that's certainly good. It looks like the frame rate is better on the new one as well. The frame rate's a little low yeah. on the old one. Okay. So yeah, that's a good. That's good. That was a good yeah. idea. Yeah, to see them side to side. Damn. Little comparison. Yeah. I'm not sure. And then yet what's how good I feel. Is, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, both those show up in my drop cam account, which I like. So when I when I bring it up on Android, I just click on which camera I want to see, ah. so I can do what you just did: is switch between right. uh, Disneyland or the boat. So, so that's yeah. good. That means you can have as many drop cams as you want, and and view them all or uh, individuals in, in the same account yeah. make it really easy yeah, yeah. so they're at dropcam.com and it's the hd wi-fi you can pre-order 149 and right now free shipping i don't know for how long and they ship the end of march dick we're going to take a break when we come back another gadget from you we've got our turn the table turkey for the week mm. and actually it's turkeys plural mm. Mm. Turkey. And uh, a visit to Turkey and a visit to the warehouse. Actually, our turkey day is more like a lamb, just so you know. Oh, okay. all right. And uh, and a visit to the warehouse and letters to all still to come. But first, let me talk a little bit about Netflix.com, the best dang deal in home entertainment that's out there. Seven dollars ninety nine cents a month is all it takes for an unlimited streaming account. What is this? A Netflix? Or, oh, the first original Netflix series are starting to show up. Oh, that's right. This is the new one. Steve Van Zant. You remember him from The Sopranos and the Spruce Springsteen band? He was so great in The Sopranos, and he kind of reprises that role in this new show called Lily Hammer. It says, after he testifies against a mafia boss, ex-gangster Frank Taliano enters the witness protection program and asks to be sent to Norway. <laughs> 
Mm. I'm going to Norway next month. <laughs> yeah. So now, this is something you you used to fight under that name, Nor didn't you? Lily Hammer. I was the Lily yeah. Hammer. Yeah. So this is interesting. What what Netflix is doing is they're creating their own content, new TV shows and series. This is just one more reason to join Netflix streaming. Go to netflix.com slash twit and you can watch Lily Hammer for free for the first 30 days. Then if you like it, $7.99 a month. I think this is so cool that Netflix is producing oh, yeah. their own content. That's my other drop cam. <laughs> the coffin cam, we call it. There he is. I love him. Oh, man, it's he's back, baby, even with the hair and the frown and the whole thing. <laughs> oh, it's $8.55? I didn't see that. All right. Boy, they really, they raised it 56 cents. It's even more, oh. ex even more expensive than ever before. <laughs> well, I'm st count me in. Wow. I'm in. $8.55. I, uh, I still think it's it the best like deal. It sounds like a mad magazine price. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it, that's what's paying for Lily Hammer, I guess. Look at all the great movies. I, I watch Netflix every single night. I am a big fan. Uh, great movies, TV shows, classics, um, all available for instant streaming. And yes, just $8.55 a month. I watched the entire Madman series. I have Isn't only one episode of Kingdom left. Oh. Well, the good news is Mad Men's coming back, right? So if you want to catch up yes. before it launches, you should absolutely take advantage of this free offer. Netflix.com. Yeah. I love this. I watched Sherlock Holmes, so now they're wanting me to watch Buster Keaton in Sherlock Jr. <laughs> Netflix.com slash twit. Give it a try. I think you will like it. And now gadget number three from Ricardo DiBartolo. Gadget number three. Okay, now... You kind of stole the thunder. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, 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 That that's okay. Uh, you know, at, at, at CES, there were manufacturers showing every kind of iPod dock and sound bar. And on live with uh, Kelly and Leo, uh, live with uh, Kelly and Rocky, I should say, uh, you showed, I guess, the world's largest uh, iPod dock, 700 pounds. What was it like twenty thousand watts? And uh, I don't know how many watts it was, but it was thirty thousand dollars. Thirty. That's all I really needed to know. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Okay, so higher <clears throat> has the complete opposite end. They came out with a twenty-inch sound bar. It has uh, built-in FM radio. Can take uh, any of your Apple devices. Oh, you know, I saw it, this at CES a year ago. Yeah. A year ago? A year ago, because this has, does it have, like, it makes, it's got, like, fills the room around you? Like, you can. Oh, no. Yeah, I know it, the one that, I know the one you're talking about. You hire uh, that was something. a very expensive one. I'm talking about one that is only now se selling for 80 bucks. Wow. I okay, think this has might have that technology in it, too. Really? Anyway, anyway, it's behind me. Let me just bring it over here. Uh, da -da, ba -bum -bum. It can hang on a wall. <clears throat> so this is how long it is. Let me just wake up my iPod here. Is it 3D? Does it say 3D? No, it does not. Oh, okay, this is not uh, then the 3D. But for an $80 unit, this sounds really decent. Well, $80 is not cheap. <laughs> it's not? <laughs> what? On your way, wow. On I can hear the bass all the way here in California. I figured I'd play something we wouldn't get sued for. I love my time. I love my time. So, you know, if you have a, a little TV and you want better sound, it has component video uh, out. Oh, so if you're playing vid video through, uh, through this little guy, you can also put it on a bigger monitor. But it's really great for the kitchen or the bedroom where you want some decent sound. And as I said, the list price is $99, uh, $99 but it's selling for about 80 on Amazon. Uh, has remote control, so... <laughs> It's a better value, I think, than your thirty thousand uh, dollar. I device. think for eighty bucks, you're getting a great deal. So great the deal. higher uh, twenty inch sound ball. <laughs> you know, I'm looking on Hire's website. I don't think they this. We saw this. Scott Wilkinson and I saw this 3D sound bar. It was really cool technology. 
a year ago, 2011 CES, and I, I don't think they, I don't think you they know, they didn't, didn't come over, they didn't get enough interest in I it. I guess it's not. That's what happens yeah. at CES. You see something, and it doesn't mean it's going to come out. Or in the case of the little Wii, the little back massager that I saw in 2011, yeah. they're still taking pre-orders oh. one year later. And it's evidently coming out in like another three months. So that's only 15 months from the time we saw it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I say too. <laughs> Are you ready to do a turn the table turkey? Oh, yeah. 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 All right. Are you ready? You have it? I, I have it. I have them. Whoa. whoa I'm gonna, okay. I'm let a, me intro this. I'm going to let you do the honors, Dick, and I'll just pretend wow. I'm not here right now. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, one day a week, actually one time a show, we turn the reins over to Leo, despite the emails, the phone calls, hostile swearing at me on the street. But today... We are told, we are warned, in fact, that indeed it's going to be a really good turn the table turkey. Oh, Dicky Dicky D, this is stuff that came to us from. Macworld Expo. Actually, before I do that, I did want to mention, and I was going to do this on the show, uh, and I ended up doing it on Before You Buy. So I'm going to send people to Before You Buy, which is the review show uh, that okay. we do now on the Twit Network. Uh, I was going to talk about, the, have you seen the Samsung Galaxy Note yet? You know what? I've been, uh, I asked them for a product sample because it looks very interesting. I really like it. So this is a, it's a phone, AT&T, February 19th. Uh, it'll be three hundred dollars with a two-year contract. I bought the unlocked GSM version because this has been out in the Europe since October. So you can go on Amazon for about six hundred fifty bucks and get an unlocked version. And I put an AT and T SIM in it. You don't want to put, and this was the first thing I learned, first disappointment. You don't want to put a T-Mobile SIM in this because it doesn't have the frequencies to do T-Mobile 3G. You're stuck on the edge network with T-Mobile. However, once I put an AT and T SIM in and I changed. I had to do some settings. I had to set up the AT&T APN. So you have to go into the mobile network settings and actually add an access point name for AT&T. But once you do that, you get HSPA+. Plus. If you buy the AT&T version, you'll even get more. You'll get their new 4G network. But I'm not in a 4G neighborhood, so I didn't mind. The other difference is that the European version has slightly different button configuration. It has a physical home button, which I really like. It's kind of like the iPhone. Oh, yeah. Um, and then two capacitance buttons, a menu button on the left and a back button on the right. Uh, and if you want voice commands, you double tap the home button. And Samsung's bundling Vlingo, which is very much like Siri. It's actually a really good uh, voice recognition system. In fact, it does some things that Siri doesn't do. For instance, I can say things like open calculator. Or any application, and it will open applications, which is it's pretty cool. I might have confused it. No, Ivy, not you. He's talking to <laughs> his. <laughs> I have no calculator. <laughs> Here, let me no, let me do it. Let me do it for real. Without without, I confused it by continue to talk. Let's do it again. Open calculator. Now press done before I keep talking, and that way it'll. It'll, it'll act on that command. And so that's something that Siri doesn't do. It won't open applications. And, um, you know, there's the calculator. Wow. Yeah. So the idea is this is more for driving than anything else. But you can send text messages, send emails. This is Vlingo. You can download this on other Android phones. And I, and I, and I think it's, it's as good as, if not better, than uh, Siri. Android has always had dictation. But the main point, the main reason people would get this phone is the size of the screen, 5.3 inches. And I'll compare that with an iPhone, give you some idea of the, wow. of the difference. The other thing that's interesting, it's higher resolution than the iPad. It's 1280 by 800. It's a huge, high-resolution screen with great dots per inch. It's the same Super AMOLED screen that Samsung's been putting on its other phones, like the Samsung Galaxy S which and the S2, which I've loved. Um, and, uh, you know, I just think when the browser kicks in and so forth on that big high-resolution screen, it's legible, it's easy to read. I, I, I'm kind of fond of it. 
Um, so yeah, I just wanted know, to I mention think that's this. Coming to Verizon too. Oh, if it would be, that would be the phone for you because then you'd get the Verizon 4G LTE uh, network. Yeah. Um, battery life's pretty good. You know, like uh, eight to ten hours, similar to most Android phones. Maybe a little bit better. But the nice thing about Android, most Android phones, not all of them, is you can just swap out the battery. So I bought a couple of extra batteries for thirty bucks, and whenever I run out of juice in one, I just oh, pop oh, in wow. another one. Yeah. That's that's nice. kind of nice. So anyway, I I wanted to mention that we do I do a full review on uh, before you buy. But uh, just so you know, I love this phone, and it, it right now it's my new phone. Um, and that's a good thing because I found a new use for my iPhone. It's this. What What are you laughing at? This is called. No, this is good. Yeah, good. this is. No, you're going to like this. Well, that, this is this is what used to carry into the ring when you uh, fought when under the name uh, Lily Liver. Wasn't Lily, it? Hammer, Lily, Lily Hammer. Thank you, Lily. Lily Hammer. So I thought it was Lily Liver. Oh, this I'm is sorry. this is a tuck muck. Okay. I'm sorry, a mug tuck. <laughs> M-U-G-T-U-K. Um, well, this is kind of cute, I think. Let me turn the sound on so you can hear it. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have put okay. it in there yet. Is the sound on? Okay, it is. It's good. All right. So the software is free. You buy the little mug tuck case, and they have a variety of different cases. Um, I don't have a price, but I'll look it up in a second. You put your iPhone in the mug tuck case, and then... Yeah. Well, actually, let me plug it in so you can hear it here. I'm going to give you a little audio level so you can you can hear the mug tuck talk to you you pick one of four characters which character would you like uh i want maggie the, bubba the, uh, tim or charlie oh tim tim all right here's tim isn't he cute look he's in this little case oh, yeah he's cool. yeah and you touch his nose tell anybody but i like you and, and <laughs> yeah he likes you funny touch his horn he looks he, he's he doesn't like that. <laughs> Ouch. Don't tell anybody, but I rarely smile. For it. It's kind of funny. <laughs> That's all it does. <laughs> I rarely smile. No need for Although it. you can apparently can rock it to sleep and various things. Um, it's just a little app. What's the thing on the top? Is That's its horn. What's the, no, at the top of the device itself. This? Oh, that's the mic you plug. In. I just plug it in. Normally, you wouldn't have. Oh, that, so you can thing. use it with headsets. Yeah, well, yeah. I guess if you want to. <laughs> well, you want to get every <laughs> all the nuance the of the sound. <laughs> Here's well, a, even the old ones. This, I think, the set the uh, this this. They're different costumes. I think this particular costume is Maggie. Oh, they're saying that it's upside down. What do you mean it's upside down? Is that his ears? I mean, it's supposed to be like that. Uh, guess not because I think the face doesn't change. I think that's a, uh, I think that's a judgment call. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, those of you who are listening in Dolby Pro Logic, it has surround sound. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm going to plug that into my sound bar. Yeah, it'll give you a really good 3D sound. Um, you can see the speaker hole. Oh, all right. So, thank you. They think it's upside down. And if they say it's upside down, I'll put it upside down. The only reason I put it in this way is because you can't, in fact, press the buttons when you put it in upside this other way around. But whatever makes you happy. I wouldn't want the chat room to be unhappy. Is that better? Does that make you happy? Now the button is hidden underneath here. But... <laughs> All right, that's the oh, mug it's, tuck. It's keyboard face. Yeah, it's, we probably spent a little more time on it than it really just, <laughs> really warrants. Um, and, and what does this cost? Uh, well, let's buy a mug tuck case. What do you say? Wow. It's at M-U-G-T-U-K dot com. Wait a minute. Turn it side. You, this is, you're supposed to actually carry this around as the phone case? Well, I don't know. $21 for the case. It's cute. It's got this handle, this strap. I guess it, really it's supposed to sit on your desk. And just look at you. That's what it's really yeah, supposed okay. to do. And that way you've got a little friend for those of you who are kind of lonely. Oh, okay. But just, it doesn't charge it or anything, right? No, it doesn't do, doesn't do anything. Doesn't. Yes, as uh, Web5749 says, 21 bucks <laughs> down the drain. All right. So that's, uh, that's gadget number one. Now, this actually is a little bit more serious. Uh, this okay. comes, this is, uh, there's a company that makes 
um, a uh, capacitive pen that shh, oh, it's still talking. This is you know I should introduce it to Ivy. Yeah, Ivy, want to play me? <laughs> God, Ivy just made an obscene oh, gesture. Oh yeah, baby, this isn't believe. What would you? This would be a good turn the table uh, uh, Tuesday. It, I, I yeah. I mean, what the heck is it's it? Obviously, some sort of a stand. That's good. That's good. You're close. Uh, it is a stand. It's but it's got magnets, so <clears throat> it's designed to hold the iPad perfectly. And look, because it's magnetic, it holds on. Oh, right? So the nice. iPad, it's actually I, I should give you a more wide uh, view, but it's really um, it's really nice. It's hard. <laughs> what I would say. <laughs> It's made of cast aluminum, and it would be great if you wanted somebody to use the iPad, uh, for instance, a photo stand. There are no other angles you could use. You know, it's this way. It's got rubber feet on the bottom. But I just think this is uh, uh, very nice. Well, you could watch a movie, right? Yeah. It's not wouldn't be good for, like, typing. But if you were just going to use the iPad as a display, it'd be good for that. Yeah. Uh, it's from 10.1. Now what's that called? Ten, it's from 10.1 Design. They, you may know them. It's called the Magnus. They make. Uh, they have made in the past. They made a very popular um, stylus for the iPad. I like the fact that it, this is the, one of the first products that I've seen that actually uses the magnet in the bottom of the uh, on the iPad. Besides the smart case, which Apple makes, um, it is a handcrafted magnetic stand for the iPad uh, two. And I and actually I, I think it's it's beautiful. And it, it does hold it, which is kind of nice. It's made from mis machine, machined recyclable aluminum, nickel-plated neodymium, recyclable plastics, recyclable carton, and a pet-coated paper fiber. And the price? Ah, that's a good question. <laughs> let's, let's shop right now. I really came prepared. Uh, Magnus, <laughs> it's fifty dollars, fifty dollars. But $50. I do think that you know uh, this is a what I would recommend this for is uh, I know sometimes people use their iPads as a photo frame. This is perfect for that. Okay, it's okay. beautiful. It's minimalistic. Uh, the iPad looks very good in there. So this was sent to me by uh, 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 Doctor Bot. They are a company that sells Mac stuff, and this actually they said, "Here's all the stuff you didn't see when you missed our booth at MacWorld Expo." So. Oh, so so uh, the Muck Tuck is from the Muck Tuck is you can get that from DrBot. And, and how much is that? We we haven't found the price yet of the Muck Tuck. It's twenty one dollars. Oh, 21, that's right. $21. Okay. Yeah. Are you writing this so down? So that really, I don't know whether to buy two mug tucks. You could buy two mug tucks or, or one, one mag Magnus. Yeah. Or, <laughs> yeah, I'm not done yet. Now how much would you pay? From the tech chick, T-E-K-C-H-I-C-K designs.com. Mm -hmm. Smart is cool. Tech chick, 13-year-old. Taylor Berghard designed these beautiful earrings. She's 13 years old. She was recently featured in Time Magazine for Kids as a successful uh, example of a successful young businesswoman, manner, ma, 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 member of the national <laughs> member Speaking of, champion. of the National Junior <laughs> Honor Society. She received an award for her score on the 2011 National Latin Exam. Plays on her school's basketball team and is one of the youngest Patty certified scuba divers in U.S. history. And she's designed these beautiful earrings for tech chicks. They have return keys and function keys right on them that hang them for your ears. How about that? From tech chick. I just like it that she's 13. Yeah, and what no, she's saying good. is now you girls can enjoy math, science, and being environmentally responsible and still be cool and stylish. These are recycled computer part earrings. And if you want to know more, T E K C H I C K designs dot com. I think they're kind of fun. Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't wear them, but I, my ears aren't pierced, so it'd hurt to put them in. Okay. Yeah. And what do they cost? You, you, you keep asking the tough questions. What? <laughs> <laughs> I have to write this up. <laughs> I know. I know. You, you want you want all the information. Let's go right now. On the web to Tech Chick Designs. Well, we'll first, let's play How Much Do They Cost? How Much Do They Cost? Uh, uh, there she is. 15 bucks. 15 bucks. That's good. That's not bad. No, is that uh, your that's guess? guess. 12 
thirty dollars. Oh, I don't know. We're getting guesses. These are guesses. Oh, 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 oh guesses. It costs the I same feel. as a mug tuck. Let's find <laughs> out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna order them. Well, they're, they're, they're not actually computer keys, are they? Apparently, they're recycled computer keys. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I, then they might. They, be I think bucks. they come from a Mac. Uh, they're. Okay. Uh, let's see. Additional character. Okay. Earrings are twelve ninety five a pair plus shipping. Custom orders oh, okay. are welcomed at no extra charge. Um, additional characters beyond four are... So you can make these longer, right? So she's taken, on the ones that I have, which are kind of cool, she's taken two keys from a Mac, the, the return and enter key and the function key. But if you wanted, you could go all the way down your ears. Oh, I see. Okay. And it'd be 50 cents each. So twelve ninety five. No, that's not bad. Yeah. Isn't that sweet? 13 I years think old. It is sweet. Good, 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 feel good. So there's your Absolutely. choice. Absolutely. I gave you three things. You can have a mug tuck. You can have a Magnus, or you can have Tech Chick earrings, or a Galaxy Note phone. All of that. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. I think I'm going to try the like? Galaxy Note phone. Oh, all right. I was hoping you'd go for the mug tuck. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, my, uh, that's my stuff. I thank Dr. Bob oh, for that sending great. that all along. Kind of cool. I like the mug tuck. I think these people said I put it in upside down, but really, I don't. I don't think so. Does it matter? <laughs> no, I don't think it matters. It's <clears> where, <throat> where do you want the mug tuck's arms to be, high or low? It's kind of that's the that's the question. See, now I have to poke this. Now I where do I? No, see they're wrong. I can't. I oh now I can't hear them. Cause I no, can't, yeah, I can't you got to hear them. They say their ears, but I can't. The problem is, if I do it that way, I can't. We can't hear them. Okay, I'm gonna plug it in here, do it around, plug this in there, turn them up, and <laughs> somebody said it's just a poorly designed product. Get over it. <laughs> My eye. <laughs> My eye. My eye. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is cute, and I like it. So there. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time. This could go straight to the gadget warehouse. It's possible. <laughs> it's a possible. But let's find out. There's something actually already in the gadget warehouse. We are going to take a trip down memory lane, ladies and gentlemen. I was just there the other day on Amsterdam Avenue. We walked down into the seventh ring of hell, and we found Dick and his gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, uh -oh. he takes them out to play. Uh -oh. It is Gadget Warehouse. And now, ladies and gentlemen, stand back for the foghorn. It's time for Dick's <laughs> Gadget Warehouse. Oh, I yes, hope it's a it foghorn. Is. Yes, Dick. Well, well, well it's, a, it's a bit of a cheat because I don't have this in the warehouse, but I think we're, we have to talk about it because of how many gadgets in the warehouse I have that are from Kodak. Oh, and as we it's all, sad. Uh, this happened as this week. As we all know, yeah. Kodak announced that come mid-year... They will stop making digital cameras. I just shocked and by that. Me too. You know, it's very funny. On on Facebook, I said, uh, two weeks from uh, tomorrow, will we hear on the Oscars live from the bankrupt Kodak Theater? You're right. It's That's right. What are they going to do? Not only that, but Gary Oppenheimer, who's CEO of a, a, a very great charity called AmpleHarvest.org, he posed a very interesting question. He said, Dick, with all the wishful thinking about products you bought and used at the warehouse, are you having a Kodak moment? More importantly, with kids largely not knowing the Kodak name, what will their term be for that special time and place where you want to take a picture, for me, Android moment doesn't quite cut it. <laughs> Does anybody still say Kodak moment, though? Really? Well, you know what? How about... An I, Instagram moment. Places? I like that. Yes. Like yeah, that. Instagram moment, right. And weren't 
all those Kodak picture spots they would have alongside a road where you could step out of the car and, and look over a cliff. Anyway, what I thought I would do is just do a little research on the first Kodak digital camera. Uh, there were a couple that came out, one in 1995 and 1996. The one in 1995 was the Kodak KC25, the first camera to use removable memory. It took compact flash, but strangely enough, it did not support JPEGs because the JPEG format was just under development. Instead, and this tends to happen a lot with big corporations, they had their own format for photos. Um, then in 1996, the DC-40 camera, Leo, I love this, could take 48 pictures, internal memory only, and this is from the instruction book. When the camera is full, the count will display zero. Zero will display if you press the shutter button. No pictures can be taken at this point until you delete the stored pictures. Then they added the DC-50, which, according to the instructions, flash pictures can be taken every eight seconds. <laughs> we, we talk about how fast the camera can recycle no today. Kidding. That's a big difference. Yes. Right. Yeah. However, if you don't want to use the flash, you can take a picture every five seconds. So, and the price of the, uh, let me see, the, the uh, DC-50 was, street price was $699. But to their credit, Kodak was paying attention and said, we've got to get digital. We've got to get in the digital uh, business. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. And also they created that. I don't know if you remember the, the easy share system. Right. Which was a good system. It was a good idea because people, you know, people are so much more knowledgeable now, but people didn't like the idea of plugging a cable in and hooking into the computer and when to charge their camera. So the easy share system was basically a docking station where you left your camera. It kept your camera right. charged. The docking station could be constantly hooked to your computer. You put it in, it downloaded your photos, it brought up the photo editing. It was a great idea. So, uh, you know, I, I hope they go forward with something because they're, I, I sure bought a lot of cameras and projectors and stuff over the years. Projectors, that's right. The carousel projectors. The car I had, yeah, I had. I, have I think I have two of them in a warehouse. Yeah. The carousel yeah. projectors and what yeah. I read, and I believe this. I mean, look, it's it, they did everything right, right? They they realized digital was coming. They were the yes. first digital camera company. They bought O Photo and made very good uh, Kodak sharing site. They did Easy Share. They now their digital cameras weren't high end, but I think they were just right for that audience. And yes, in fact, so, yes. I frequently recommended them uh, on the radio show to people who said digital cameras are too complicated for me. I can't figure them out. And I said, well, the Kodaks are actually very simple, very easy to use. So um, it, it wasn't that they did every, anything wrong. But what I heard in the interview, and I, I totally believe this, is the guy, I think he was a vice president, said, you know, the problem is that we built our business with 20,000 employees on the high margins, the high profits in photo processing, printing oh, photos, developing your film. That was a very high margin business. The digital... Oh, yeah. Uh, didn't didn't they invent the photo CD? Oh gosh, yes, they did so many things. They they did Remember the Advantix would, system. They yes, really you dropped your yeah. That's right, that's, and they had the that's right. So they were they there was a smart company technology uh, technologist. But when you have a business that's built around a product that's very high profit margin, and you suddenly have to move into the slim oh. profit margins of digital photography. It's very difficult. And their stock price tumbled. They lost half, three quarters of their employees. They couldn't afford them. Um, that's what happened. And I think that that's, that's fascinating. This is what happened. This is going to happen to other companies, too. You know, you can't just because, you know, digital's coming just because you even, you know, do it doesn't mean you can survive. And, yeah. you know, the same thing's going to happen to my industry when we go back to tape and vinyl records. It's just going to kill me. 
Well, aren't you glad I talked you out of doing this as a print podcast? <laughs> I am uh, completely hooked on the low cost of internet distribution. The minute I have to print magazines again, I'm out of business. Yeah. Can't do it. No, I, I, in, and we in, won't. And we won't. And we won't. No, in all seriousness, I think that that makes sense. Now, if Konak's not gone, this is something important to m mention. No, that's right. They're just Chapter 11 is a reorganization. It is not a Chapter 7 bankruptcy where they say we're going to sell off the assets and the, we're history. They're going to reorganize, and that's appropriate. They have to redesign their business for the low margins. But I think it is interesting. They're getting, you know, they announced six cameras at, at CES. And then a month later. Wow. Yeah. So this was, I think, a little unexpected. Probably, I, I would guess, part of the Chapter 11 process that the, the courts said, you know, you got to divest yourself of these businesses or, yeah. or something. It's Maybe sad. no one at CES yeah. liked the six cameras. It, could Maybe be. They it also could be. <laughs> that, <laughs> whoops. What? <laughs> but now, there is a solution. I just want everybody to go out there and buy more film. Yeah, right. <laughs> Develop, yeah. Develop. Don't watch this picture. No, develop film. Take pictures of the screen of this podcast and <laughs> get them developed. Yeah. No, it is sad. And, you know, people like Jennifer, um, she loves her film camera. She still goes to Shutterbug over here and gets photo processing. In fact, the other day she came to me with her iPhone. She said, okay, so now I, I've got, a th she has over a thousand pictures. She says, it's full. So where do I get these printed? And I said, what? Yeah. She said, I want to, you know, I, I want prints. <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a Kodak camera. It's not a Polaroid. It's not yeah. a Polaroid. So, but I, you know, I said, okay, fine. We'll put it on iPhoto. Uh, and then you could bring it to, uh, you, you know, the, the camera shop and you can get prints. It's not going to be cheap. Do you use film at all? She does, not me, no. You don't use any no, film? No, and I love ever. film. I used to roll my own film. Uh, I know you did. That's yeah. why I, I thought, I bet Leo somewhere shoots black and white I, film. That's or... exact. I loved Ilford black and white. I loved shooting. Yeah. Or, or yeah. I used to use, Kodak had had a really great uh, 400 AS, uh, ASA uh, film called Try, try uh, something. I can't remember what it was called. But it was a great, fast black Try again, I think Try again. That's what I liked. Yeah, try again film. <laughs> uh, Tri-X, thank you. And you could push it, that's right. Oh, that's right, Tri-X. I Tri love Tri-X. Yeah, it was a great fast film that you could really get a lot of. You could use it in very low-light exactly. conditions. Exactly, exactly. Love that chat. God, the chat room is like They're amazing. so smart. Well, they're old farts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. I think it's time for me to play a little jingle and get some... Yes. Letters on the air here. We kind of had a yes, yes, yes. sad moment. In honor of that, let's go disco. What do you say? Yeah. Ah, the days of disco when Kodak was still king. I got my polyester shirt on, my super tight <laughs> pants, my Afro wig. I'm ready to party on. And you're carrying two cans of paint <laughs> as you buggy around yes. the brick house. Yes, the brick house. A uh, very interesting letter from Dell Neal, Pittsfield, Mass. Uh, hi, Dick and Leo and all the great people at Twit. My name is Dell Neal. And I've got to tell you, I love your program. Thank you, Dale. Some four years ago, I came down with a severe case of Gilliam Barr syndrome. Oh, dear. I spent four months in intensive care, and then they moved me to a nursing home where I am right now. I do not own a computer, but some three and a half years ago, when I was placed in this nursing home, my roommate at the time would spend many nights watching this network called This Week in Tech. The first episode I watched was the Daily Gizwiz with Mad's Maddest Writer. You were both playing with something on the floor that had a camera in it, I believe. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, think, I think, yeah, probably the That was spy, our first uh, broadcast car. from the Twit Cottage. Yes, Spy Car Video was yep. the device. Yeah. Uh, I know Dick D. Martell from the Match Game TV show. Um, we used really? to go to TV City in the 70s and be in the audience. Wow. That roommate is the people gone. didn't know really that you were there, did they? I mean, you weren't like that on stage or anything, or were oh, you? Oh no, 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 <clears throat> no. And I was only uh, on stage, backstage in the New York version. Uh, I only went out when they were setting up Match Game uh, uh, Hollywood, and I just wrote it from New York. 
Um, uh, uh, and then Dell com- uh, continues, my roommate is long gone, but I access your show via a community computer at the nursing home. You're going to laugh, but we only have a one hour limit on the computer oh, for residents. That's not right. So I burn your programs to DVD and I watch them in my room on my TV. My oh. favorite shows are This Week in Tech, iPad Today, Frame Rate, and the Weekly Daily Gizwiz, which is my all around favorite. And Leo, this is very interesting. Due to lack of movements in my fingers and hands, I use Dragon naturally ah, she to write this letter. Wow. And, and the letter is perfect. They're like, there's one period in the wrong place. This is a great program, he says. Dell Neal, Pittsfield, Mass. So here's a, a way that technology is, first of all, that he burns your Twitch shows to t- to DVDs to watch in his room, knows about uh, Dragon Naturally to dictate a, a fairly complicated letter that looks perfect. It- it's just great what technology uh, does that is, for people. That is great. Does Dell mention how his age? <laughs> he doesn't. He does not. Well, Dell, we're so. thrilled that um, I just, this is one of the things I really like about uh, what we do is that it doesn't, it's not just for young people. It's not just for older people. It's, it's kind of crosses the line and we talk to everybody. And no, uh, absolutely. I love that. Absolutely. You just have yeah. to be a geek. It doesn't matter what your age. You just have to be a geek. And I, I yeah, just, no, someone great. else wrote me and I, I don't have his letter here is, is he's amazed at how many blind people turn to twit for, advice on gadgets to help them and also another email about how many truckers depend on you yeah so. yeah well if you you know of course think about it i mean if you're blind of course you listen a lot radio always yes. has always had a large blind audience and then if you're a trucker same thing you're, you're spending a lot of time behind the wheels so in fact i think we probably have uh our listeners probably commute more hours per listener <laughs> than any other programming in the world, right? Uh, it just makes sense. It just makes sense. Probably. Yeah. And then a real... By the way, no letter. blind truckers listening, I don't believe. No, I hope No, not. okay. I hope okay, not. just checking. An actual... <laughs> a letter, a physical an letter. Actual, a physical letter, a long time. I trust this finds you well and having fun. I was watching you and Leo Saturday... And I noticed that the shock mount for your Heil PR40 is sagging. If there's anything we don't want, is anything sagging. Please find my new design of our shock mount that will correct that for you. I sent one to Leo, so you guys will no longer have any problems. I enjoy your work with Leo. Always here to help in any way with your microphones or your audio, Dick. I know who this from is from. Bob. Hi. Bob, the great Bob Heil, who makes our PR40 mics that we use throughout the Twit Network. Um, and he's so generous. Did you put your new uh, bands on? My my new bands are on. Actually, no you sagging. Me, uh, the whole no spider. Sag- you yeah. got a whole new and, mouth. And you know, yeah. it's so amazing that I had tried to take up the slack. You know, we're starting year seven this month of the weekly daily gigs. Well, no wonder so was- things are sagging. Yeah, ex- exactly. I was trying to take up the slack a little, but it, it takes someone who built a device to just look at it and go, that's sagging. <laughs> He's so funny. Bob is the greatest. That's really awesome. You know, we're getting we're getting microphone support from the guy who did mics and sound for groups like The Who and The, the Grateful Dead. We're getting some really good service here. Thank you so much, uh, Bob Thank Heil. You, Bob. And we are glad to have nice Bouncy mics once again. Nice and Bouncy taut. Mics. No, there's no sagging here. <laughs> no sagging here. Ain't um, no sagging here. We do this show every Saturday afternoon right after the Tech Guy show. That means, you know, sometime between 2 and 2.30 uh, Pacific, 5 and 5.30 Eastern at twit.tv. I hope you'll tune in and watch live because, you know, there's more that goes on during the live show than we get put in the recordings. But if you do miss a show, you always can listen audio or video. We've got both available for download at twit.tv. TV. And of course, if you subscribe with iTunes or some other program, uh, then you'll get it automatically uh, every time a new show comes out and you won't miss an episode. We wouldn't want you to miss an episode. No. So, Dick, enjoy. Uh, what the heck is a game? Oh, that's right. Because you got a new yep. game, don't you? The new game uh, runs through the end of February. Oh, so it's it's still the February game. Okay. All right. It's still, yeah, it's the February game. 
You, you already, uh, I think you I know what it is. That it yeah. was, well, uh, it's, it's duck pins. So here it is. If you go to gizwiz.biz and you click the, oh, I shouldn't say because then it really takes all the steam out of the contest, doesn't it? No, you, that's, that's okay. You click that's the what okay. the heck is it contest Coming up to button. seven years, you haven't gotten one right, so why should this be any different? Look at it. It's obviously duck pins. Come on. There it is. So what is that? Now, here's the good news. Getting it right is really not the idea. Only 12 mag, mad, mad magazines for the right answers. 24 for the best cute, silly answers. And they're all autographed by that guy right there, Mr. Dickie D. I've got my autographed one. I love my autograph. This is from uh, the last contest. I'm impressed contest. that you brought that all the way back from New York City. Oh, wow. of course, yeah. I figured, I walked I walked two blocks following you about two blocks behind, looking in every trash bin, going, <laughs> let's just see. <laughs> let's just see how many blocks he'll lug this man with him. Well, after you caught me doing so that I'm last time, I've been a little bit more cautious. I love this oh. cover because it's a play on the uh, Nevermind cover of the Nirvana album, right? Um, yeah. But instead of a baby swimming, chasing a dollar, it's, it's President Obama <laughs> swimming naked. Although they, they did edit it carefully to make sure that it, yes. <laughs> it yes. adhered to standards. Yes, it still has to be on newsstands. The Let's 20 not dumbest that. moments, people, events, and things of 2011. The year we ran out of money. And I particularly enjoy this foldout. Uh, oh, that's... Of, of King, it's King Donald Trump. We call him the birther king. <laughs> These are great. I just, I think, I love Mad Magazine. It just brings back my youth. It's so much fun. Oh, great. Yeah. Great. And it's a little more, was it always political? I mean, this, I guess it always was. You know, it, it's, I think it's much more adult than when I first started. That's for sure. Especially, true. especially the Mad 20, because the Mad 20 really is, I think, the most difficult issue to do. It, it just pokes fun at every kind of right. bizarre dumb thing that happened uh, during the entire year. And it's always the uh, January, February issue. I don't know how... So, yeah. do, you don't ever run out of puns? I mean, for instance, a year to dismember. It seems like you... That's so great. It seems like you... Maybe you... Just, I don't know. It's Wrath of Khan. I love that. I love that. Disguise yeah. got problems. The puns are so good. <laughs> yeah. I just love them. This is fun. Hopefully, we'll never run out. I mean, what did you do in this issue? Did you do possible. a fundalini or? Uh, no, <laughs> I did a I did a thing on uh, that company that you can rent vid rent videos from. No, you did a Netflix takeoff. I did. Oh, oh, look at the Anthony Weiner Low Limits Sexting Plan. That's good. Uh, let's see. All right, well, I'm going to find it. That's so funny. I didn't okay. know you did a Netflix takeoff in here. Yeah, Footloose. Don't you remember about <laughs> two months ago when I was writing? I said, "Should I be writing this?" You go do. What are we gonna worry about? What me worry? Write? No, of course yeah. not. They'll lo they you love just it. Right? What you want? They don't mind anyway. But it's you know nobody. Look at nobody. We're not for sale. So is it in the back page? I'm looking for it. No, yeah, it's not. Did I miss it? I think you did. I mean, you, you, yeah, it's a full page with the uh, Netflix logo. The promise. So. The real ads confuse me. I don't know. That is that is a that is a problem. I don't know sometimes if it's real I'm, or if it's... I'm, I'm confused. Yeah, is that a fake ad? You have to read it very carefully. This is a good one. The blind eye. I like that instead of the blind yeah. side. Wedding crashers. No, that's not it. Yeah, you let me find my issue. I'm, I'm looking here. Yeah. Come back again next week, and I'll still... There here it is. is. There it Netflix. Is. Oh, this is about the Reed Hastings uh, apology yeah, letter. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, we talked about this before. A yeah, message from yeah, Reed yeah. Hastings, founder of so Netflix. We'll see if, he, if he has a... <laughs> I messed not. up, and as this letter will make clear, I'm not done yet. <laughs> 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 yeah. I owe everyone an explanation, which is risky, because every time I write one of these letters or give an interview, our stock plummets even further. It's clear from the obscene emails, shredded DVDs, and 800,000 canceled subscriptions that Netflix members hated my idea of two separate companies. This is great. No, I love it. I'm sure Reed enjoys it. Are you kidding? I know people, when they get parodied in a mag, mad magazine, they frame I know. it. <clears throat> I know. It's, uh, I remember once there was a, a guy, I forgot what channel he was on, and he called me up and he said, I, I understand you're working on uh, a satire of my show. Oh, Mark Summers uh, was the guy's name. Uh, and he was doing a, uh, a show, I think, on the Food Network. And I said, I, I am. And he said, w will you send me a copy as soon as it's printed? And I said, okay. And then like a month later, he called me. I was, is it printed? And I said, I said, Mark, I just got it back. But Mark, 
I am very hostile in this. He goes, I can take it. Just mail me a copy. So I mail a copy. Three days later, he calls me up and he goes, Dick. And I go, you know, it's Mark, it's just satire. And he goes, no, I'm calling to ask, can I show this on the air? (laughs) (laughs) There's no such thing as bad publicity, Dick. No, no, it's great. No, it's great. Oh, that's fantastic. Dickie D, a pleasure as always. I will see you uh, next week. I hope you'll show up. Next week I'll be back from Miami and we'll have have new stuff. Have fun at the Toy Fair. Is it Miami? Yeah. I'm uh, Toy Fair tomorrow, shooting a spot for ABC News, and then Tuesday, uh, Boat Show, and back Friday night, so I'll be here for that. Hey, would you pick up one of those uh, Nordhavens uh, for me while you're down there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did you want the 55 or the 58? Uh, Oh, what the hell? In for penny, in for pound. Go for the 58. 58. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, you got me the nerd turd. I mean, what was the, <clears throat> what was the name of the that? The mug term? tug, not the nerd oh, turd. The mug tug. <laughs> yeah, right. I'll send you a mug tug. You send me a 58 foot boat. Okay, fine. <laughs> Shipping optional. Hey, thanks, Dick. <laughs> no, okay. I'm, I'm envious. I really, uh, you know, I still haven't lost that dream of someday living aboard a boat. Oh, it, uh, I mean, it certainly can happen. My clothes you're, you're a young man soggy. and you live near the turning basin. <laughs> I do have a turning basin. The, yeah, the only problem is with the 58 foot it, it ain't going to turn. It's going it'll stop all traffic in the turning basin. You know, they these big ones though, they do have bow thrusters so you could probably turn on a dime. No, you can do. Yeah. You can yeah. do. Yeah. I'm jealous. One of these days I want to go to the boat uh, go to Miami for the boat show. That would be fun. Uh-huh. Yeah. And you know, you'll love uh this this new joystick steering is like just unbelievable. You I'm, can get I'm thinking of, though that maybe it'd be better for the same amount of money. Just you know, when I felt like going for a ride, rent a boat with a captain, and then you just ride around. Yeah, well, that's good. Well, the other thing is, wait till you're like another twenty years older, sit in the chair and let them throw water on you. <laughs> <laughs> Am I on a boat? You're on a boat, Leo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And does someone throw a dead fish at you? Yeah, I have that. a fan blowing my hair. Yeah. No, go next door. Green screen. <laughs> Alex can fix you up. I'm having fun now. My dreams come true. When do we get to Bratislava? All right. Uh, in the next bit of B-roll, you'll be there. I'll be there. Well, let's load the Bratislava tape. All right, Dickie. Uh, and Ciao, next week, Mama. I'll be here. Oh, I forgot that part. We never did do that. <laughs> no, that's okay. You know, it's only seven years. It, it, it takes time to get a flow. Your outro. I never get that right. <laughs>